and let the church say, Amen. Amen. Folks, when, when it's so easy in this day and time, which Jesus said, all things must be fulfilled. It's got to happen. What sister was bringing out this morning about the walls, I'm going to bring you out some scriptures right now. And like I said the last time, God allowed me to get up here and the brothers did. I'll let you have an iPad. You can see what day them notes was made. You can see what day that was put in that iPad. God is setting this up. God's trying to speak to somebody in here or speak to us. It's time to wake up. It ain't no time to sleep. Yeah, we may have loved ones in the dust, but I've got some scriptures telling you, honey, they're a coming out of there. If they was truly born again, children of God, son, the ground's going to bust. You just wait and see. I don't care if you believe it or not. That's totally up to you. Love you, brother, like what you brought her out this morning. I don't care where you believe it or not. I feel sorry for you, but when God does the drawing, you walk the blood of Jesus under your feet, you trample right on, you're on a head-on collision with God Almighty. There ain't no, there ain't no, it, there ain't no room for, to, to, there's no gambling in this. God ain't playing games. Praise His holy name. Hallelujah. As she was saying this morning, how the walls have been broke down. I'm going to read you something right here in the book of Daniel. I praise God. I'm just going to read it to you. And I set my face unto God to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my God, and I made my confessions and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love Him and to them that keep His commandments. We have sinned. Now, folks, I ain't a single, not nobody. As we continue to read here, it's going to speak of a nation. Honey, let me tell you something. This world is a headed downhill, and son, she's, a, she's, a, she's getting ready to crash mighty fast. We have sinned and have committed equity and have done wickedly and have rebelled, even by departing from the precepts and from thy judgments. Hallelujah. 9 and 12. And he, that's being God, had confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against. Once again, this is in Daniel 9 and 12. And he has confirmed in his words, and that's God, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us. That's the word of God, folks. By bringing upon us a great evil. What are we seeing? Huh? Come on. We're right on target. Hallelujah. For under the whole heaven had not been done as has been done unto Jerusalem. I know he's speaking there, to Jerusalem. But if y'all just allow me, you read this, and you look what's happening in the United States. Now, I heard a brother bring this out once before. Just like when that big psalmy or whatever hit down there. Honey, it hit the just, just same as the unjust. We're going to suffer some things for the evil. But those that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Hallelujah. And it was written in the law of Moses. And this evil has come upon us, yet more... We not, no, wait, yet made we not our prayer before the Lord our God that we might turn from, his, from our iniquities and understand the truth. Therefore the Lord watched upon the evil and brought it upon us, for the Lord God is righteous. He's righteous. He loves us. He just ain't liking the ways. Amen? Amen. God is righteous in all his works which he doeth, for we obey not. His voice. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 3 and 13. Only acknowledge thy iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God and hast scattered thy, thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you. I will take you of one city of and of Two families, and I will bring you into Zion. I, now listen, here is God Almighty. 
and I will give you pastors according to my heart. Who sends them? God Almighty. God has sent not only what once we done got set in this building, God is loving, merciful. He just keeps sending us awesome teachers, preachers. Honey, he's trying to teach us the truth. It's time to wake up. Praise be to God. I better leave it alone. You better well you be careful who you let in your boat. You better be careful who you hang out with. Anointing can be passed from one to one. But let me tell you something. There'll be little things attached to you to keep you drugged down. I wish you'd shut it off from him. Oh, saying it's you run dogs, got fleas, what are you going to get? You'll have fleas. Well, God says you can flee from that. My Bible tells me so I can flee from that. Pray for him. What's wrong, brother? Y'all pray for me. And it shall come to pass when ye be multiplied and increased in the land in those days, saith the Lord, they shall say no more. Yeah. What are you here today? Huh? No more shall no more. The ark, you won't hear it. The ark of, it says the ark of the covenant of the Lord. That's his promises. The truly, the, the true born children, brothers and sisters of God, iron sharpening iron. Is that right? I'll bring her out here in a minute. Y'all just bear with me. Pray for me. The ark of the covenant of the Lord, neither shall it come to mind. Like a brother said this morning, they'll tell you, somebody was telling me tonight, I think it's tonight, said they didn't want to hear about the Lord. Who was that? Yeah. So he went, this brother went to try to witness this for a man. Now, I know the book says you know him by the fruits that they bear. But I believe if you're a child of God, led by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost, God will put it on your heart. Speak to him. Talk to him. I've had it to happen. He told that brother. He didn't want to hear nothing about the Lord. He may be standing there elbow to elbow with the old boy was at the gate, begging for just a little drop of water. God have mercy. Neither shall they remember it, neither shall they visit it, neither shall they be done anymore. Amos, book of Amos, 8 and 4. I'll skip through some of this. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not of bread, nor thirst for water, but hearing the words of the Lord. Praise be to God. If the disciples come to Jesus and ask him, it's in Matthew 24, what shall the signs be before the coming of the Son of Man? I think I, I got a gut feeling Jesus might have known him being the Son of God. Right? All you can hear is what's been passed. We may be in this world, but we ain't of it. And I like to put about Saul's armor, or David's armor. Don't let nobody put nothing on you. You pray and you seek God Almighty. Exodus 32, when she, brought, when she referenced that this morning, I like to fell off my pew. Exodus 32 and 30, and it, and it came to pass on the morrow that Moses said unto the people, Ye have sinned a great sin, and now I will go up unto the Lord. Peradventure, I shall make an atonement for your sins. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Oh, these people have sinned a great sin and have made them gods of gold. Yet now, if thou will forgive their sin, and if not, blot me. Ooh, I pray thee out of thy book, which thou has written. Now, who wrote it? Who is keeping the book of remembrance? Malachi 3.16 says, God has got a book. Yes, I have. In 
inspired. Praise be to God. And the Lord said unto Moses, Whosoever have sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. Exodus 34 and 8, and Moses made haste. Now listen, folks, we, we serve a mighty, mighty, merciful God. And all this stuff has been passed in the United States and in all this. Judge, don't get me wrong, I don't mean nothing bad to this. And I've made this statement before. Yeah, i got respect for the ones that you know has got the black robes on. But you better know the one walking hand in hand. The one that's got the white one on. That's the one. Once again, whose time are you on? Amen. At the end. Hallelujah. I don't want to get ahead of myself. And, Mo and Moses made haste and bowed his head toward the earth and worshiped and said, and he said, if now I have found grace in thy sight. Oh, Moses, son, was done for grace. Isn't that awesome? Grace. God's riches at Christ's expense. Grace. If it weren't for grace, none of us stand a chance. Amen? If I have found grace in thy sight, O oh Lord, let my Lord, I pray thee, Go among us, for it is a stiff-necked people. Hmm, don't hear nothing about that, do we? No. Me, 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 and I. Yeah. Don't even know who the Creator is. No. Don't even know who's giving them the breath that they even breathe. Hallelujah. And pardon our, in, our iniquity and our sin, and take us for thine inheritance. And he said, Behold, I make a covenant before all thy people, I will do marvels, great works, such as have never been done in all the earth, nor in any nation. And all the people among which thou art shall see the work of the Lord. For it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee. In them days, well, here's what come to me. Yeah, they all, just like David, he made boo-boos. We all make boo-boos. But we serve a mighty, merciful God, and there's one seated to the right hand of God, Jesus Christ Almighty. He's making intercession for each and every one of us. When the Spirit of God checks you, you better turn and walk away from it, period. Amen? The marvelous works, and what we're going to see, and I'll read here just in a minute, Daniel 12 and 2, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall wake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contentment. John 5, 28, Marvel at and mar for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice, and shall come forth, they that have done good, unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil, unto the resurrection of life damnation that's the word of god true forever settled in heaven acts 24 15 says and i have hope toward god which they themselves also allow that there shall be a resurrection of the dead both of the just and unjust hallelujah folks we're closer today than we've ever been Not only is he getting ready to knock on the door, he's getting ready to step through it. Speaking of Lazarus, I know he shall rise again in the, re the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. We got a lot of people around here who's walking around is dead at four o'clock. It's true. The light ain't shined into, their, into the darkness. Their understanding has, it's in the book of Ephesians, their understanding hasn't been enlightened. Their eyes hasn't been enlightened. 
they probably experienced a drawing, but they just wanted from God, drawing from God, and they walked away and left it. Amen? And this just keeps coming to me. Yeah, they're passing all these rules and regulations, telling you when you won't be long, they'll tell you when you go to bed, and when you can turn your light on, when you can turn it off. But where they're going to make their major boo-boo is, yeah, when they take a fine hand or they go against Israel, when the United States steps over and they're going against the Jews or they're going against Israel, you might as well, well, I was going to say, you might as well pack your sacks. You ain't going to need none. You're going to be in a twinkle of an eye, and we're getting ready to read it here just in a minute. You're going to be handed a big white robe if you're truly born again. Amen? Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. And he asked her, Believest thou this? Believest thou this? For First Thessalonians 4 and 14, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, everyone in here believe that? Everybody in here believe that? Amen. Maybe I'm born you death. I'm sorry. Take it up with God. Even so, them that also sleep in Jesus will God, will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord. By who? The, it's God. That we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Hallelujah. They which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. And here's the kicker. Wherefore? Comfort one another with these words. Right? Whose words are they? God's. He just allows us to use them. For His glory. For His praise and glory. It's all about Him. We can do nothing without Him. All strength. All strength. Comes from Him. First Thessalonians. Five and five. We, it says, ye are all the children of light. If you're truly born again, prepare to meet God Almighty. Let this sink in. Get your heart wrapped around this. The children of the day, we are not of the old darkness. All this old stuff going on in the world. There ain't none of you in here like it. Amen? When the dark clouds rise... Yeah, the storms are coming, but we always got a shelter. We always got refuge. Jesus Almighty. Jesus known. Just bear with me. I'll bring you, I, I, I got you some scriptures on that one. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love for a helmet, the hope of salvation. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians 5 and 9. For God has not appointed us unto wrath. Amen? He didn't create, create us. I like what Brother Winston said. If you split hell wide open, God's still going to love you just the same. Amen. Amen? You chose that path. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but, a, but to obtain salvation by yourself. Oh. Hallelujah. Come on. By our Lord Jesus Christ. Who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, 
It's either by the grave or we're standing on our feet somewhere. I say, I love this. Well, I'm getting ahead of it, but I'm going to tell it anyway. Some's going to be sitting on bulldozers. Some's going to be standing in factories. Some's going to be out trying to help people out on the streets. Some's going to be laying on creepers underneath cars. It says, in a moment, in a twinkle of an eye, you're going to see little children. You're going to be standing. You're going to be standing in the presence of God Almighty. He ain't going to put more on us than we can't stand. He knows what's going on. Once again, who died for us? Jesus Christ Almighty. You don't work for your salvation. Well, the Bible says you must work your salvation out through fear and trembling. That's right. That's what the Bible says. That's your conduct. How you living? That's your daily walk with Him, not with mankind. It's how you walk with God. It says, where if once again, 1 Thessalonians 5, 11, wherefore, comfort yourselves together, edify one another, pray for one another, lift each other up to the throne of God, Pray that God will give you somebody, put somebody in your path that you're allowed to tell them what Jesus Christ done for you, how he brought you out of the clutches of hell. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another even as also ye do. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as stars forever and ever. I love this. David was a mighty man of God. And like I said once or just a little while ago, yeah, he had boo-boos. We all make mistakes. But God is a loving God. He just ain't liking the ways. God will never leave you, and God will never forsake you. And I think David could hear from God. Don't you all? Yeah. I do. But in Psalms 37 and 25, David said, I have been young and now I am old. Folks, God ain't going to forsake us. God ain't going to hang you out to dry. No. Period. I have been young and now I am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, or his seed, begging bread. Amen. Once again, church, whose time are you on? We're all, we're all on a head-on collision with God Almighty. Nothing more, nothing less. Because in Revelations 10 and 6, as I wrap this up, they want to come get us a song. Revelations 10 and 6. And I swore by him that liveth forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that therein are, and the earth and the things that there that there are therein are, and the sea, the things in the sea, that there shall be time no longer. Jesus Christ the Son of the living God, stepped out in time. If you reference the word time, it says delay. God delayed His plans for us. No Time no longer. But Jesus stepped in time to change the course of man. So I was riding down the road and I heard that and I about had to lock it up. That's true. Son, I said, I'll see you all. Whose time are you on, church? No man knows the day, time, or the hour. Only God Almighty. Book says not even the angels know. They ain't none of us knows. 
But you know where you stand with him. Nobody else can tell you. Only you know. Now, first something here has been hindering you. Just come or just wherever you're at, just pray. Don't take a chance. Don't miss out on the kingdom of heaven. We're closer now, right now, than we've ever been. Let's pray for this church. Let's pray that God, Son, God will have mercy on each and every one of us. If there's any darkness, if there's just any blemish, just spot or wrinkle, let's ask God to remove it. Long as there's breath in these bodies, as, it's, as you read through that Old Testament or you read through there, they all had problems. We all got them. But there's a man died, and his name's Jesus, that's got you covered. But you got to accept him, and you, if you'll confess him with your mouth as Lord and Savior, that Bible says you shall be saved. There ain't nobody can take it from you. There ain't another man breathing on this earth can take it from you. Now it's prayer time in the house of God.